Yuri Yogmoth versus Burn to Norton. Burn to Norton. <sighs> Keep. Unfortunately, this Behemoth in the opening hand is never a good thing, but nonetheless, the rest of the hand seems decent. Overgrown tomb, a bauble, and a lurus. And an inquisition. Which can only take one of these three. Start off with the halfling. Next turn, play the wolf. I could play this tower, but I don't have. Yeah, okay, no, that's not possible. I need to obviously sacrifice a creature as well. So let's just play the wolf, attack, next turn I can natural order or Yogwat, so I, I'll have at least something. The Yogmoth, does that mean, alright, so the opponent taking out part my hand completely. There's the underground mortary. Happy to surveil. I will keep that on top. Alright, so let's produce this. Let's produce this. And the opponent has seen enough. He didn't like that top deck. Now, of course, that's the downside of discard spells they do not they're unable to deal with top decking and the opponent has seen enough all right so quick first win let's go on to the next game Golgari Yogmon versus Alex 2020 Milito Alex 22 not 2020 Keep. Oh, that's big dragon. Wild the cuddle. All right, so we are most likely up against Zoo. Uh, what do I want here? Uh, the delighted halfling is actually pretty good. So I think I'm actually in a pretty decent shape because I have two natural orders. I have a young wolf who is undying, doesn't like to die. So the bolt will slow me down. I'm going to take some hits here though, wow. Alright, let's play the wolf, let's play this. Now I won't be able to do anything next turn either. So I'm taking six here, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll have to take six again. Um, 
which is gonna hurt a lot. This will be a surveil. So hopefully I can, I can find something which I can throw under the bus to, to jump block here. Not gonna block yet. And then I have to just pray that the opponent doesn't have a leyline binding for the Atraxa. Ah, uh, the garden's actually okay. Gives me an another chump blocker. Alright, so let's chump block this and this. I have to pray that the young wolf also survives. Why, why, don't, why am I already at three? Does this trample or not? What? Okay, yeah, this game's over. Wow, this... Yep, zoo deck definitely fast. Faster than three natural orders, at least when they're on the draw. I need the pushes. Uh, do I need Veil of Summer? Blue or black? No. Uh, pile on, maybe, yep. Yeah. An ooze. Yeah. What do I not need? The halflings. And an innkeeper. Wait. Uh, actually keep the innkeeper. This, the cauldron. I don't really think I need the cauldron at all. Keeper or the bow masters? I'll take the bow masters. Keeping up the bow masters in case the opponent plays uh, breakout and hopefully hits the Nishoba Brawler. That would be probably the, <clears throat> the ideal scenario. Or the opponent, but the opponent's not going to play nothing on turn two. That's basically impossible for the uh, for the zoo deck. has happened. Well, I'm quite surprised. Is the opponent also playing Bowmasters? How big is my cord next turn? Okay, that, yeah, it's probably Bowmasters. The opponent is Bowmasters. Yeah. Right. Well, unfortunately for that I played them first, but that's how it is. Okay, so I can cord for two. This shall just get us uh, a forest. Cord for two, which means I can get some bowmasters myself. Another, or an innkeeper, or an ooze, or a vizier. All right. But 
be careful of stubborn denial, but I don't think I really can play around it. Uh, I can if I just get something for one. Oh, the brawl. So the opponent is keeping up the stubborn denial. So I can use this cord to just drag it out. Which I think I have to here. I have to get it out of the sand. Yep, as expected. Okay. Alright, maybe there's another one, but I have to take the risk here. Wait, I could also do it for three, but I think there's no, no, there's no advantage to doing that. pretty effective for sure what can I do how can I stop this like a yogmoth's not gonna do anything what to do I'm just gonna have to try again this cord. But yeah, this. These bowmen. This. Uh, <sighs> Alright, let's try once more. Wait, I. Yeah, I, the ooze can't grow. Yeah, it has to be the bowmasters again. See what the opponent can throw under the bus this time. I'm risking a blowout here again if the opponent bolts one of these, but uh, finally able to take care of that. There's another brawler, but now I can play. Uh, I can't play the blood artist first. So. I will have to give up everything, take 3 damage, and then I will be able to kill the brawler. So it's going to be very painful. Um, I could sacrifice a creature to play the blood artist. But... Yeah, I need to take... I need to... Yeah, I'm going to go low. <clears throat> the um, tribal flames will kill me. So... Uh, yeah, the opponent had the right answers in the bowmasters for my bowmaster in the bolt to blow me out. Let's see. And the opponent still has... Alright, before this um, resolves, I have to now do this. I have to do this now. Ooh. 
Yeah, I think uh, the ley line is gonna. Yeah, okay. GG. Yeah, there's no way I can defeat this. So, having a little bit of trouble against the zoo deck, I would say. Uh, not having any. So, I guess having. Not having any fatal push is uh, was a problem, but let's see. Let's go on to the next game and see how that goes. Golgari Yogmoth versus Kefar C. Kefar C. <sighs> having a Traxa in hand. I don't like it. Prefer to keep this. What do I... Can I put back? Let's put back this. Alright, start off with the mortuary. Yep, take the bowmasters. Don't want another land. Play a halfling. Touch a tapped dual land. Opponents Giganta. Jund colors so far. land on the opponent's own turn opponent maybe also okay doesn't want lands legions and on that which i'm actually okay with that's the turn it's gonna be a lone yogmoth there And there comes Jarsel, flashing back the Thoughtseize, then the Legion's end, so it's gonna be difficult. So the opponent's gonna take my second Yogmoth. more play the Yogmoth fatal push nope all right activating the Giganta the Jarsel can flash back. All right, doesn't have something proper to flash back. So I can basically just turn this the halfling into a card. The opponent doesn't have anything here to flash back. Uh, 
Oh, yes, he does. All right. Well, but the good thing is in response, I can do this, put it on the shaman. Attack, set, yes. <clears throat> Giganta, all right. What we can find here a young wolf. All right, I can. Chump block with it at least one turn, gain draw a card so that I can uh, stall a little bit here. I would say, is there anything in here new? No, Oopsies, now the shaman can actually remove the wolf in response. But I don't think I had much of a choice here. At least I'll draw and the shaman will die. There's a natural order. Hopefully I'll draw a green creature. There's the green creature. There's the natural order. There's the attack. Okay, so land an instant. Let's get a cord and let's get the vizier. All right, that was a pretty decent comeback. Say. At least now I'm somewhat back in the game. The John deck, I'm not sure if it has any effective ways to deal with uh, the Atraxa. I'm gonna take it. I don't want an, a bolt to take out this Atraxa. A thought seize, so I could cord for nothing, so no. All right, so let's start by attacking. These headphones are not, I think I need to change the thing 
in the top. It's not really fitting very well. The cap. Okay, lay this. Keep up Bazaar and both masters. Pass the turn. Alright, so natural order taking the game. Do I need something? Yes, two veils. That's it. That's all I want. Getting rid of two halflings because I don't ex well because the opponent doesn't want counter magic. So I don't need to make my spells uncounterable. Duh. Two Bozajus is not ideal. And the Crater Hoof. Now nah, I'm gonna mulligan it. I prefer this one. Gonna put back the cord for now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But if the opponent takes the veil, I'm actually okay with that. this and then use get a survey land is my gonna be my plan here yep all right the opponent using their bowmaster to take out this so the opponent is afraid of natural order which is of course understandable Going for the underground mortary. Don't want the wolf. Uh, shaman's fine, but let's start off with this. is also stuck on two lands. Uh, how many net fetch lands are there? Only one. So I'm at three mana here. Now at four. All right, the opponents knew that, yeah, the opponent at two lands didn't like that I was able to play the Yawgmoth now. All right, that was a nice victory, 2-0 against Jund. Um, so, yeah, happy to see that the deck, that I'm actually able to win with this deck, because I've tried this deck many, uh, a few times, and I've never really felt, seemed lucky with it. Or, you know, having a the, the showing that I see the win percentages on like untapped dot gg are showing. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe today is different, and maybe I'm just learning the deck, uh, learning to play the deck better now. Anyway, let's see how the next game goes. Golgari Yogmoth versus Dark Confidant. Keep. Keep it keep. Uh, unfortunately, this is a tapped land. So when am I gonna play the tapped land? Really, it's uh... all right. Let's start off with the halfling. 
next turn I can play it. Yeah, I can play it next turn. I can play the innkeeper and then the mortuary. Okay. Alright, blue. We are facing down a blue deck. Gonna shock again, I don't mind taking some damage here. Should I slam the bolt wolf? No, let's keep that for later. No need to fully ramp up or is there Ah, uh, next turn I'll have enough mana. Yeah, why not? Oh, wait a minute. So the opponent could just be show and tell. Hmm... The game is now over. Uh, okay, let's put a land on the battlefield. Yeah, okay. I think I may have made a mistake here. Should have kept up the Besaju instead. I was just thinking about playing my own natural order. So I was, yeah, I was just locked in. When I saw the watery grape, I was just locked in. That thinking that it's Demir control, which was obviously a mistake. Keeping up with Zeju would have kept me in the game, I'd say. All right, there's the approach, there's the dig, there's the second approach. So no chance here. What do we need? Uh, Haywire Might's good. Sage is good. Do I need Veil of Summer? What can I remove? The four halflings or the four bow masters. I had Lavinia too, which I should have boarded in. But let's see if the Reclamation Sage can do something. This Keeping this hand because I have a second land in the form of this once upon a time. I guess kept a risky hand. That's the only th explanation I have. Um, yeah. Actually, wait. Let's keep that in. And th the soul cauldron is not really required. So there's Lavinia as well. So yeah, sometimes you just win because of the opponent's hand being terrible. Sometimes you lose because your hand is just terrible. That's uh, some that can happen here and there as well. But most games are actually interactive decision making. Mind testing battles. Uh, 
are two lands, no green. Nope. This one I shall keep. I'll put the Blood Artist back. the sage put the blood artist back no. now obviously the show and tell deck can still just show and tell out an atraxa which is also basically a win con in itself Mulliganed as well. The Dark Confidant also mulliganed. Once upon a time, what do I need? I prefer to take the land than the yard moth to be honest. Had I known that I would draw the colony gardens, I wouldn't, but of course I cannot know that. So let's play the innkeeper and the colony garden. Or I can go for the lush uh, for the surveilling land. Let's do that instead. the opponent going for it here no just assembling the team top third of your library That's what I wanted to. Nope, I don't need a forest. Um, attack with both, or just attack with the innkeeper. Play another innkeeper and a blood artist, or just attack with both and play another innkeeper and a colony garden. I think. That's good. So the Reclamation Sage is the only thing that's keeping me in this game and the fact that the opponent hasn't played show and tell yet. If I had, I would could use, really use a Court of Calling as backup because if the opponent plays Thoughtseize, my Reclamation Sage is gone. So I could really use a backup sage in the form of Court of Calling. 
Okay, the opponent's still digging, so that sometimes can happen too. There's all right, natural order. Um, yeah. Um, what should I go for? The Atraxa or the uh, Crater Hoof? Let's go for the crate. Let's see if this resolves first anyway. That's actually, yeah, that was the right choice. Nice. All right, taking, uh, achieving some wins here with this uh, deck. Definitely uh, an enjoyable deck because you have the two approaches in the natural order and the Yogmoth combat combo. Uh, plus being just a, a mid-rangey, ca it can become a mid-rangey deck, you just don't have big creatures. Um, I'm just wondering if even it would make sense to maybe take out like one innkeeper and put in a Tarmogoyf, just to have like this, a big creature out of which you can also fetch up, but I'm not sure. I think this deck has already been optimized well enough uh, in its current deck list. Uh, but yeah, able to beat show and tell. In this case, I guess thanks also that the opponent wasn't able to uh, assemble the combo. But even if the opponent had, if it was, it had to, would have to be uh, have been uh, a Traxa, and uh, yeah, because the sage was in the hand as well the whole time. Anyway, let's go on to the next match. Golgari Yogmoth versus Pibar. Just dealing with my cat here. Mischievous as always and curious. Loves to stick its head into my sparkling water glass. Not drinking it, just getting the sparkles in the face. Alright, um... Opponent goes first, only one land, a lot of one drops. I'll try it. It's a little risky, but... Alright, Thoughtseize is not too crazy. Yeah, yeah, but I expected that. Um, the garden's pretty good, actually. Let's just start off by playing a shaman. Opponent has a watery grave, thought seeds. Alright, is this again the show? 
I think game one, this deck isn't really well prepared for the uh, show and tell deck. I know there's a version which runs the uh, Might uh, main deck, the Haywire Might, instead of the Cauldron, but I think Graveyard Hate is just more generally useful. Um, all right, let's play a shaman and a young wolf and attack with everything else. So I'm just hope. I basically all I can do is hope that the opponent doesn't have the combo soon. So the opponent is actually ditching show and tell. What that means to me is that the opponent has show and tell in hand, but no payoff cards. Um, but there's an attack. So that's basically now game over. Unless I draw natural order and, and get the crater hoof. That's my only out here right now. So let's... 8% chance. <coughs> yep, putting back another show and tell. Yep, because now you have one. Alright. Um, well, didn't draw that crater hoof. Yeah, let's just play everything out just to increase the damage if I do draw the crater next game. But I expect this game to be over. The opponent will most likely have the required combination. assembling will the opponent find the, the omniscience which is what the opponent is looking for here all right then this is game dig all right what else do you need to find the mastermind's acquisition Assemble the team, Mastermind's Acquisition, Second Son, Atraxa. Is Lavinia legendary? Yes. Alright, that's actually, that means the Halfling can play it. I'm letting the opponent play it out, because I'm just... You know, it's always nice when you play your deck and you win with your combo to be able to play it out. So yeah, I mean, I would have had a chance had I drawn a natural order, but I mean, yeah, the chances are pretty low. So what do we need? The Might, the Sage, the Lavinia. And remove the Bowmasters. That's my plan. And ooh, oh, wait, 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 I need one more Sage. Where is the Sage gone? Um, Sh 
shaman or halfling? Wait, halfling in, cauldron out. That's the that's the way. Uh, I could put in Veil of Summers too. Uh, the deck, the opponent's deck does run Thoughtseize. At least some versions do. Okay. This is quite... <laughs> this hand is quite... Um, disruptive. Oh, and the Bazaju as well. Wow. Oh, I should have played that for Heath. But alright, this is fine as well. Alright, so I think I have a pretty decent hand here to deal with the opponent. Noxious grass. I'm just gonna use the veil here to just to use it. Lavinia, one, two, and then Demonic Tutor. Yeah, all right. I need blue. Oh, wait a second. No, that's a mistake. Can I undo that? No, I can't. All right. Then let's just tutor. Tutor for another Sage. Yeah. Well, or the natural order. Wow, this is problematic now. Or the might. Yeah, I've, I just complete. I was thinking I have white mana, but I don't even have that. So this can only be fetched. Can only be fetched with the Court of Calling. Or if I have another Shaman, for example, or a uh, Halfling. So what am I going to do against an Atraxa? That's the question. I have three enchantment removals. Uh, just grab a swamp here. Play the Yawgmaw. Keep up the Shaman to be able to play for the, pay for the might ability and attack. And pass the game. Yeah, let's put in this, right? Is that gonna do anything? Let's try. Protection from creatures. Okay. Does that mean I'm dead? No, it doesn't. Um, not immediately. At least. I have to draw natural order now. 
or some the combo. That's what Sarah Emissary does. Take the sage. <laughs> yep, all right. Once that to that, I will cannot target those. So let's uh, sacrifice the wolf first. Sacrifice the might. I don't need it. Uh, play the veil of summer. this mm. all right should I keep sacrificing stuff let's draw another yogmoth can gain two. Which means I can't draw many more cards, but I'm trying. Let's try and see what happens. A blood artist. But I have to target an opponent as well, so that doesn't even do anything. Target player loses to let one life and you gain one life. Alright, so yeah, this Sarah thing just wrecked me. GG. Alright, so able to win against this deck, but also not, yeah, lost against it. So what? The sideboard is very much geared towards the enchantment hate. The Lavinia is also very much geared towards the... Um, omniscience. So, uh, there's nothing against Atraxa or this Le this Sarah's Angel Emissary, whatever that was. I think some versions of the Yawgmoth deck run Thoughtseize in the sideboard. Maybe that's a consideration, especially if there's a lot of show and tell going around. But any, I mean, at any point in the game, a natural order into Crater Hoof can win you the game instantly due to just the. Uh, because the opponent doesn't deal with your creatures, they're just on the board. So the board state is usually quickly turns into a Crater Hoof instant win board state. So that's usually an out. Um, but yeah, generally Golgari, 
Golgari Yawgmoth uh, fun deck to play. I would say also pretty resilient. Um, you have these two which are just the powerhouses. Um, Cord can get you some utility stuff, whatever you're missing. So uh, yeah, and then as soon as you have Young Wolf and the Haptara, you can just basically draw as much as you want, taking some damage while you're at it. But then once you have the Innkeeper, you can just draw your deck. And at some point, you can either use the Blood Artist or just uh, even the natural find like natural orders to win the game. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun. See you in the arena. Peace out.